Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so today we are going to be reviewing the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleep Mask. So there it is. So it says that this is supposed to um, deep hydrate and fill your leave your skin feeling moisturized. Um, it's made for all types of skin, so it should be great for anyone. Um, I know that it is a sleeping mask, so they have it where you can either do it where you put it on and then sleep overnight, or they also have it where you can put it on, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then, um, and then go ahead and wash it off with a warm washcloth. So here it is once more. I did do a smaller review on it when I got my Ipsy bag, um, and it came in there. Um... I opened it up, kind of showed it. It was very gelatiny like, um, but I am going to go ahead and show you guys once more. There is no seal on it because, like I said, I did already open it once. Um, so, obviously, this is what the lid looks like. It's not too bad. All right, so this is how it comes. As you see, you're like, oh, there's nothing in there, but it's also another little like seal that I did leave on when I did the review. I took it off and then put it back on during the review. Um, it was actually quite funny because I thought, like, I couldn't even realize that there was a plastic thing on it. And I was like, oh, this stuff isn't very wiggly and it's supposed to be a gel-like. That's odd. And then I realized, ha, huh, there was a seal on it. Uh, but we have that seal off now. So I'm going to show it to you once more. So there it is. It's very um, gel-like. It keeps rolling from side to side. So that's kind of what it looks like almost built it <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and get started I'm just gonna push my hair back a little bit here we go all right so it says you just apply a thick layer all over the face um, forehead to chin so we are going to go for oh it's like so light that you don't even feel it when you put it on your finger um, so that's interesting there we go it's a very cool I do have a habit of sleeping in my makeup, which is god awful for your skin. So in the morning when I do wake up and take my makeup off, it is, um, my skin is kind of irritated from it. So it's quite good that I am now putting on a mask because I feel like my skin could really use it. All right, I got the forehead. I do have a big face, so. <laughs> this does take some time. Okay, here we go. It does smell amazing. Um, I don't know what the smell is, but it smells very good. But it's also a very, um, like, hint smell, so it's not going to be, like, overwhelming while you sleep or while you have it on. You're not going to be like, oh my god, what am I doing? So, there we go. We are applying it. Okay, now I just have to do my nose. I feel like my nose is my problem area where my pores get really nasty. And then my chin line, I have a lot of breakout too. And same with my chin. Okay, so it is all on there. And now we are going to wait 10 minutes. And we will go ahead and wash it off and see how my face feels. As of right now, there's no real change to my face other than um, it just kind of feels cool. There's no tingly, nothing reaction-wise right away, no redness right away. So we are going to wait 10 minutes and be right back. Okay, everybody, we are back. It has been 10 minutes. Um, so I will say about two minutes into the mask, uh, my face did start to tingle where it was drying and it was like a weird tingling burning <laughs> sensation um, some people don't like that sensation but for me I feel like when I feel that I know that it's working uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's really true that's what I feel so anyways I got that burning tingling sensation about two minutes into it drying two minutes into the mask um, it did dry um, pretty fast and it 
is all pretty much dry except for some really thick areas that I put on. Um, I didn't put any thick areas purposely. It just kind of happened that way. So it did start to tingle and burn two minutes in and then about two minutes after that it stopped. I'm assuming when it was fully dry. Um, so two minutes in it burned, four minutes in it stopped tingling. Since then I haven't felt anything. I will say though my face feels a little tight just because the mask is kind of drying and it's like a clear film on there. Um, but yeah. Other than that, nothing else exciting really happened during it. So I am going to take a warm washcloth and wash it off like they suggested. So here we go. Ooh. It feels very like slimy, oily-ish. <laughs> Trying to get it off. You know how, like, sometimes you add water to your face, though, and it gets very, like, dry right away? This doesn't quite feel like that, so that's at least good right there. Um, okay. I will say it is taking quite a bit of washing to get it off with the washcloth. Not that it would be any different if you used your hands, just... It's taking quite a bit to get it off. Like some masks, you do one wipe and it's off. This one, you really gotta work for it. So we're working for it. Okay. It feels now, as I wipe, that I got it all off. Which is nice that you can actually feel that. Because some things you can't even feel that. So now I am going to dry my face. Whenever you dry your face, they always say that you should not wipe, you should pat, because when you wipe, you can cause aging, wrinkles, damage the skin. So we are going to pat our face dry. Okay. Ta -da. So from what I can tell, my face is always red anytime I wash it. Slight redness here and there. Um, I do have quite a bit of breakouts. Um, so there's my breakouts. We started with those. It didn't cause them. Uh, my face does feel cool. It doesn't feel dry. Like sometimes when you wash your face, it is very dry. Um, I'm not feeling any dryness. Um, a little just a little right there but I don't know if I have a lot of mask on there but um for the most part it's really soft feels good my skin doesn't feel dry um it didn't leave any bad red marks just a little blotchy but like I said I have very fair skin um so I kind of get blotchy like that anyways um if I had to rate it on a scale of one to five with the 10 minute mask, because do keep in mind that it is an overnight mask also. So with it being the 10 minute mask, on a scale of rating of one to five, I'm gonna go ahead and go with a four. And I'm going with a four, just because, like I said, there is a few little spots that do kind of feel drying. Um, it did leave a few little red blotches. And um, the tingling sensation was and wasn't the best. So with that being said, I am gonna go with a four. One out of five, give it a four. Um, not too bad. And then we will definitely have to go ahead and re-review this um, and do the overnight sleeping mask and see how it turns out. Um, it does dry pretty fast, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay on because I was a little skeptical, but it hopefully will stay on and we will go ahead and try that next time. You all have a great day. Go ahead and subscribe so you can follow more of my videos. Thank you.